The problem is that most fast tool servos have very limited travel range. We have been looking at what can be done to improve this. And we have used the strategy of what we call spectral decomposition. The trajectory that you want to do ideally with your machine, that is the tooltip relative to the workpiece, has high frequency and low frequency components. Just like a piece of music has high frequency flutes, low frequency tuba component. Your stereo system can automatically separate those, send the high frequency to the tweeters, the low frequency to the woofers. The recording doesn't need to know how this is done. We are applying the same strategy to the motion control. The program for the path assumes that there's one perfect mechanism to do it all. It doesn't need to know how it is split up. As we calculate, we split it into high frequency components for the fast tool, like the tweeter and a stereo system, and the low frequency components, the woofer, the standard mechanism in our part. What isn't so straightforward is when there's complex geometry involved, especially non-Cartesian mechanisms that aren't all square. There can be rotary mechanisms and all sorts of linkages. It starts getting very complex there. But we have figured out how to do it by passing the trajectory back and forth through inverse and forward kinematics, separating out the frequency components where appropriate in combining the trajectories that way. So they no longer have to be parallel mechanisms. In this demonstration system, the standard mechanism is Cartesian. That is, it is an XY at right angles, but the fast tool mechanism, very low inertia, so it is very fast, is non-Cartesian. So combining the kinematics and the frequency separation into one algorithm, we are able to separate out the components and apply the appropriate kinematic transformations in one fell swoop. One of the fastest ways of changing the laser position on the workpiece is to bounce it off two rotatable mirrors driven by galvanometers. Galvanometers are a classic fast tool servo. They can have a bandwidth of hundreds or even thousand hertz, much faster than a standard servo motor, but they have very limited travel. So the whole laser mechanism is moved around on the standard mechanism and it then does the small movements within that zone, here it's a constantly moving zone, not a step and repeat zone, to do the intricate part work at a much higher bandwidth than is capable with, say, a step and repeat or the slow mechanism alone. We discovered in our very first shot, we could take one third of the time off the execution of a very complex and intricate path. From 40 minutes to do the path with just the standard mechanism, to 27 minutes to do the path combining the fast tool and the slow tool. And that was even before any detailed optimization which we think could take it further. In this demonstration system, it turned out that we could separate out the high frequency and the low frequency components in three lines of Power PMAC script code in the same subroutine that executed the inverse kinematics. And the Power PMAC has the computational capability to go much, much faster than in this demonstration system.